Hello everybody, this is TVPush1, and we are back again with another NXT review, and now NXT has finally moved to Wednesday nights. Not that I was, like, relieved that it was moved to NXT Wednesday nights, I'm actually probably better for me that it was on Thursdays. But of course, the NXT, uh, WWE had other plans with SmackDown, especially, and obviously uh, SmackDown probably seem a bit more prioritised than NXT nowadays. I mean, they're trying to put a SmackDown on a new track and put it up to... I'd say a bit of like raw standards. We are trying to get SmackDown a bit more coverage, and so they move SmackDown to Thursdays. So what you got to do? You got to move uh, NXT down to Wednesdays. So, um, yeah, this actually has caused a chain effect amongst WWE, and I think TNA have moved to Wednesdays as well as NXT. So for me, it just seems a little bit of a nuisance since that I'm usually like to do on Fridays and watch it from Wednesday Thursdays but now I'm on here on Thursday uploading this on Thursday or probably uploading this on Thursday uh, you'll check out and see if this is doesn't matter but anyway um, it just seems that NXT is day earlier and I have to just do it a day earlier if I wanted to get up right away Um, yeah so actually next time I watch this I'll probably be on the WWE Network because I am so excited guys the WWE Network be out next week, UK Ireland. I talked about this in the podcast last week. It will be out UK Ireland. Um, I'm pretty sure Monday night on 19th of December. So that was w- uh, of January, sorry. And that is the one I'm really, really excited about. Um, I can't tell you how long I've been excited for. Nearly, I'd say nine months, nine or ten months since it's been around in uh, America all that time. And people have had it since like April la- uh, last year, 2014. I've been so looking forward to getting it. And it's finally come. I Words cannot express how I feel. I'll be watching all the classic shows, NXT every week, of course. Pay-per-views, Royal Rumble, definitely. Not live, but, you know, after it goes on. You can see it all recorded. I'll probably be watching a few of those documentaries that they show. And um, some other WWE programming. And especially the Monday Night Wars and his special WWE Network f- sh- featured shows they got going on. Because you can't see them anywhere else. And so NXT here, really special. Uh, Wednesday night, starting off here. A pretty good card. Um, let's go in and talk about it. We start off with our first match was... Really decent match. I was surprised about this one. Tyson Kidd versus, I mean, Ty- Finn Balor. You got two really good class people, uh, quite same height level, same sort of fitness level. I mean, same type of wrestling, and they're very very technical. Finn Balor probably slightly taller, slightly more hard hitting. But F Tyson Kidd, how surprised I was tonight about him. Uh, he was so technical tonight. Uh, he had a sharpshooter hit in. It wasn't the greatest track for either, uh, Finn Balor, obviously getting out of that one. But uh, he had a few close attempts here, and he definitely put Finn Balor in one of his, probably his hardest match yet. I mean, the Ascension he fought against, but Tyson Kidd was on top game tonight, and it- he wasn't Joey Manitalia tonight, he was on his own. He's got the sort of cat gimmick going on, obsessed with cats, really stupid and weird, but anyway, uh, that's, a, that's a, a, a rant for another day, really. I may even talk about it on the podcast or something, whatever. Yeah, podcast probably coming out this week, number six. But anyway, Tyson Kidd, mad about the cats. Comes in here, uses uh, a lot of... What can I say? Anyway, he's great in the ring. Uh, pushes t- uh, Finn Balor out. One more point, gets him into the barricade. Plays a little dirty here tonight. He's got a bit of avenge against the old Finn Balor coming in. And he's got a chip in his shoulder, I guess. And so he wants to beat down Finn Balor. A lot of people have... Uh, t- well, a lot of people know that Finn Balor has a target on his back since he's come in and he's been world class and he's just been respected for that. A lot of other people have disrespected him and, t- and t- Finn Tyson Kidd was number one on that list. So he came in here, Finn Balor had the time to prove himself and he won the match. Uh, Tyson Kidd really had no chance after Finn Balor got on his groove. He hit one of those special Pele kicks, goes in for what's it called? Um, Dime. Anyway, so he goes in for one of those weird inverted bloody Sunday thing moves. Anyway, gets him down with that DDT, uh, up to the top rope, gets the double foot stomp onto the head. It was so ugly, and you knew it was over after that. And just amazing foot stomp there. One of his best so far. Uh, pretty intense, that one. That one seemed to hit the spot really well. Finn Balor, excited about that win. On that winning streak, continuing the winning streak into next week. And kicking Finn Tyson Kidd into next week. Man, that was amazing. Next matchup, uh, well, first we'll get a trailer for the, what the main event will be, which is, of course, uh, f- uh, Adrian Neville and the reigning NXT champion in a championship rematch, uh, S- Sami Zayn. What is our next match going to be? It is the Divas match, I think. 
No, sorry, it's the match we've all been waiting for, the feud has been going on for a while, and here it is, Baron Corbin, the unrelenting Baron Corbin, taking on Bull Dempsey. Bull! 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 Both got really catchy theme songs, i got to say. Um, Baron Corbin still getting a bit more cheer there, coming in first. Bull Dempsey comes out, they start fighting each other. Um, Baron Corbin, strong hitter. Bull Dempsey, even faster in the ring. Baron Corbin just stands there and throws him down. Baron Corbin quickly unrelents and counters a dive from Bull Dempsey who really was only about a minute into the match, goes in for a dive, misses. Anyway, Bull Dempsey puts him into the, sorry, Baron Corbin puts him in the end of days, lifts him up, bang, lifts up a 300 pounder, so impressive, down he goes, one, two, three, it's over. Baron Corbin puts Bull Dempsey away so quickly, biggest upset of the year so far. It's only January, but this could be one of the biggest upsets in all of WWE in the year. Uh, Bull Dempsey puts him away so quickly. Baron Corbin puts him away so quickly. And I've got to have a rematch coming up soon, guys. I know I talked about it. I was glad to get to see the feud go into a way. And I, th I hoped it would go into a win, get into a match. Here we are. Not probably the way I would have expected it to go. But uh, Baron Corbin, he's definitely the darker side of the group. And the, the feud and the more deep... I don't know what I'm going to say about this. But just a very, very... Um, calculating guy and very dominant in the ring uh, yet to see him lose a match yet to see Bull Dempsey lose a match until now um, he was very impressive in this one Bull Dempsey actually moved around pretty well but Baron Corbin he stood no chance against Baron Corbin in this one and I was so surprised to see that dominant force in Baron Corbin in this one okay uh, the next match was a Divas match and it was who was it? it was of course Charlotte, the NXT Women's Champion, and Italia, the two blondes, taking on the likes of uh, the, the sort of BAE Bay, and that's funny, but Best at Everything, who are a sort of alliance, quoted by Becky Lynch, with the team of Becky Lynch and. Um, who else was it? Becky Lynch and. Again, Sasha Banks, sorry. So, this match was a tag team match, I think. And. Yeah, Natalia worked well, so did Charlotte, they both worked with a really nice face tag team, and you could tell that, and you sort of knew that was coming, they were really good there, um, Becky Lynch was pretty well, uh, they actually commented on an interesting fact that Becky Lynch used to fight alongside the tag team of Natalia nine years ago in Japan or something like that, and this is the first time they'll be facing each other, um, yeah, so, no, I mean, not too much chemistry anyway, but there was not much time for Becky Lynch to really show herself. Again, I always complain about this. I don't even know anything about the person. I still don't know anything about Becky Lynch, in fairness. What 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 does she do? I do not know. Does she do anything special? I don't know what a special move is. Anything about her gimmick, really. She likes to shout out beside Sasha Banks. She's from the line to try to get into XT to show herself. But she's not showing anything, really. Sasha Banks obviously taking all the cover. Um, Sasha Banks wasn't, wasn't too impressive in this match. She did uh, go well on, didn't afraid to show any moves, but any, nothing really of holes or anything. So not too impressive. If you want to start off watching these guys and get impressed, you probably don't watch this one. But again, Charlotte was really good. And Sasha Banks ended up winning a pull tight heel victory. And the classic sort of heel victory. Uh, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch get out of there, they win the match. Simple enough, simple enough finish. And Charlotte was... Kind of, I'd say she's devastated. I didn't really see your reaction. But anyway, let's get to the main event, guys, of the night. It is Sami Zayn, the NXT reigning champion, defending his championship in that rematch clause that he, you know, so gratefully agreed to doing it against Adrian Neville. Let's get to it. Okay, so this one started off nice and good here. Um, oh, yes, it was back and forth, definitely, as you can imagine. Uh, Sami Zayn retaining some great hits and moves there. Adrian Neville coming back really well. And actually countering a good, uh, what was it, in between the ropes, in between the goddamn corner, freaking, oh my god, he counted that really well. But anyway, Adrian Neville countering some good moves, knowing all too well what Sami Zayn was up to, and Sami Zayn knowing vice versa, but Adrian Neville seemed to have a little bit of a, he, he looked pretty energetic tonight, and Sami Zayn was sort of playing down a little tonight, 
Um, so they wore themselves down easily. Outside the ring, Sami Zayn looked like he was dead, but he was sort of just playing that in there. Sami Zayn, Superman, sort of gets up that Superman character, gets back into life. Oh my god, coming back from the dead. Sami Zayn quickly gets out of... Well, actually, earlier on, sorry, Sami Zayn was put into a position where he had the... Or some, well, Jader Neville k kicked in that weird Hurricane Rana move twice, and it was just really impressive. The second time it looked like he was going to pin one, two, three. So close there. Sami Zayn gets back into it, hits two uh, German suplexes. Then, of course, he tries for that half and half suplex. Doesn't hit it, but gets a halluva kick, and it's all over. And, of course, the whatever that powerbomb thing is gets the win. Kevin Owens comes out and attacks him with the big powerbomb. And everyone's booing, you can still feel it. He's done this, what, twice before. Hasn't really commented anything on it. Act like an ass backstage in the interviews. You know what, that is just disrespectful. Definitely to Sami Zayn. Um, um, amazing how he gets away with this and everyone just standing there looking at him. Um, I mean, he's acting like such, such a devastatingly, like, on the lies of the fans who are trying to respect Sami Zayn, they're all confused as Kevin Owens dealing the light at the end there, never letting Sami Zayn having that proper victory at the end after he wins his match I mean that's just so disrespectful and if you wanna like, if you wanna see it like that, I guess you can say Kevin Kevin Owens is the is the Lex Luthor and, and Sami Zayn is the Superman and Sami Zayn is basically has to rid Kevin Owens of NXT and if we're gonna get that into feud I'll be grateful to see it and hopefully Kevin Owens um actually just comment on Kevin Owens he does have a great um heelish character and it's just not the old like classical evil I'm gonna kill you he's more calculating coming up there silent what sorry silent assassin or something like that but again Kevin Owens you got my thumbs up in terms of I hate you now you have that face of a of a heel and and the the working of a heel, fights dirty and gets in there, doesn't go any, not, no nonsense definitely in the ring, and so Kevin Owens has my approval of the of a mark of a warrior who, who definitely wants Sami Zayn's blood and his gold, of course. Sami Zayn immediately gets that target on his back and he knows the dangers he's in. He's become a new sort of Sami Zayn. The commentators always count on this every time he fights. He's a more dangerous, vicious guy. And he's just only letting a little bit of character out. And soon, I guess, Sami Zayn, uh, Kevin Owens could be letting out more of his character. I mean, we've reminded of this back in John Cena and Bray Wyatt's feud. There was a sort of different side of John Cena being leaked out. Leaked out and leaked out. And we never really got to see the full side of that. Well, maybe this is the time where we can see uh, Sami Zayn's darker side come out with Kevin Owens just constantly ru ru uh, ru ridiculing him after his victories or finally destroying him. We could see Kevin Sami Zayn potentially out for months, after um, out for weeks after what what Kevin Owens could do to him. He is so dangerous in the ring, and we don't know how Kevin Owens is calculating his move, moves or anything. Um, but again, if we get a in depth interview with him, maybe we'll flag it out more. Yeah, so maybe John Cena. I was just thinking about that right now. John Cena how could be healing, turning heel. I mean, I've done Cena turn heel. That just reminds me of this anyway. It's just a darker side to the character that is only let out a little bit. And I just love it when this happens because it's away from your original great face versus heel. It's more of a, a mystified character versus another. It's, there's never really any black and white. It's always a mixture of different colors taking on each other. Like, you don't, it's not all too strong color. That's shades of each color fighting on. And you, this is something that. That I'm, I just love to see. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been the official one, and this has been my NFC review for the 14th of January 2014, I think, uh, starting on Wednesday. So, see you next Wednesday. Um, hopefully, I'll have the the network next Wednesday, and I'll do a little review on it if I have it by next Wednesday. So, guys, check out my other videos, and make sure to subscribe, like, share, favorite, and comment below. See you next time. Enjoy.